How's it going, Rogues Gallery? It's finally here. Well, at least the, the Japanese version is. This is the Hololive original card game. Something that I've actually been really, really excited to check out ever since I got to play a hands-on demo at Anime Expo this year. This is one of the games that I'm very much looking forward to getting an official English release. And I figured in today's video, let's check it out, take a look at the cards, and maybe talk a little bit about my thoughts on the game as a whole. As like I said, I did get to play a nice hands-on demo at AX earlier this year. I also want to give a quick shout out to Daniel Yonto, who actually is the Shadowverse Evolve world champion. He actually picked this up for me. I asked him to pick this up at his local game store, and he was able to do that for me. And, you know, another friend of mine, another Dan actually, Dan from Main Deck, picked it up from him at Singapore and uh, was able to bring it back to the States and then mail it to me. This, is, this has gone around a little bit, and now it is here, ready to be opened and examined. So, let's do it. Yo, I'm actually really excited to open this up. This is a game that uh, I'm very much looking forward to playing when it comes out, finally, for the English version or the English release of this game. Uh, my first initial impressions of the product itself is it's pretty nice, right? It looks very clean and it's, um, you know, it's very pretty and the product quality feels, feels really good. One thing I want to do is uh, because you and I or rather, I assume a lot of those out there watching this cannot speak Japanese. I did get my Google Translate out, and we can kind of translate this a little bit, but I imagine it's going to be kind of hard to read through this. So I'll just kind of quickly read it. Basically, it's a pre-constructed deck. It has 72 cards, uh, 50 cards in a main deck, and then 20 other ones, plus a couple other things. Uh, manual does have a rarity breakdown rarity 23 types in total there's the osr double r r uncommon and common i think those are for the uh well actually i don't know we'll see if they're in the starter deck i'm not entirely sure well without further ado let's kind of check so by the way google translate is, is actually so good it's like a cheat sheet if you're ever traveling in a different country it's worked for me in Japan, being able to translate uh, various things. But um, some things can be very important, like when you are in your hotel room and it's like really hot and you're like, bro, I don't know how to use the air conditioner. <laughs> use Google Translate near the air conditioner. It'll, it'll tell you. It'll tell you what to do instead of just guessing. All right, let's open this up. I do want to keep this in a little bit of a nice condition because this, this is a nice product. It could be used for nice display purposes. And I do want to mention, and I might have mentioned this at the top of the show, this is a very, very popular game right now in Japan. In fact, I saw a, uh, a quarterly posting of like the most, um, uh, I don't know, I don't say popular games, but the, the games that are selling the best in Japan. And this is a brand new game and it made it in the top 10 already, which is kind of wild. Also, this card is Gorgeous? I'm not sure if it's a... Alright, alright, cool. Well, we'll, we'll hold on, we'll have a hold off on that. Let's check out what uh, th this all comes with. I do believe, by the way, this was about 15 to 16 US dollars. Um, as I mentioned, a good buddy of mine, Daniel Yanto, picked this up for me. He's from uh, Southeast Asia, so th the price difference is going to be a little bit, but I... He basically asked, uh, I was like, hey, how much did it cost? And it was around like 15 to 16 dollars. So anyway, here we have some punch outs with uh, some life or damage number counters. Uh, we have a little play mat and then we have the how to play guide. And we're gonna open this up. Uh, we're not gonna be able to read it, but I have played it before. And I will say that I thought the game was really fun. Um, the game functions very similar to, I would say like a cross between Pokemon, some people say like a cross between Pokemon and like One Piece, but it also made, remind me a lot of We Cross because you basically start with your, your starting Oshi, your starting character, and they can, you know, gain advantage over time and they have abilities. It really reminds me of We Cross in, in that, that kind of regard. Um, and uh, yeah, like I said, it, it was a lot of fun. I didn't get to explore a lot of the so, you know, super intricacies of it because it was just a, a quick hands-on demo at Anime Expo. But it really intrigued me uh, more than I more than I thought it would, to be honest. Uh, so, yeah, it kind of like made me think. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna give this a shot. 
Here is the uh, play mat. We'll take a look at the play mat. Um, yeah, pretty pretty kind of standard standard zones and, and all that kind of stuff here. Um, and then, of course, there was this. So in terms of just review purposes of a starter product, I like it when it comes to this kind of stuff. I, I've seen a trend these days of starter products and TCGs trending towards um, not having like the rules in them, just having like a QR code or something, or we'll deal with this later, uh, or nothing at all in some cases. So having an actual, you know, color rule book is very much appreciated. So I, I do dig that quite a bit. All right, let's take this out. So I don't actually know, and perhaps it said it on the, on the back of the, try to get this out. Perhaps it said it on the, oh, why is this so difficult to get out? Maybe, maybe we have to actually like, maybe we have to actually kind of do, do this sort of situation, maybe. I don't know if this, this card that looks like it's uh, super shiny is guaranteed, is what, I'm, is what I'm trying to get at. Because it looks really nice. It is like textured, and it, it looks like a really, really high quality card. Look at this, you get a, you get a bunch of stuff in here. Dude, that is that is actually like really pretty. Ooh, okay, maybe maybe they all you do get these guaranteed foils. Oh, these this is really really nice. In the demo that I played, the cards were not foil. I'll I'll, I'll say that. Um, Life five. Oh, very cool. And we'll obviously give a much more in-depth review and maybe even some gameplay of when this comes out in uh, in English, but. I also know that this was pretty hard to find. So these are essentially like your energy. Um, it's different than Pokemon in that these are not in your main... Oh, look how cute that is. These are not in your main deck, right? These are in a separate deck. Do they have different card backs? They even have a different card back. Cool. Um, so these are a separate deck. I really like when games do that these days to have a separate like resource deck from the main deck. I honestly think these days... Uh, in regards to just game design in general, that we're, we're far beyond putting resource cards as exclusive cards in the main deck, unless they double as other effects too. Uh, you know, as seen in games like, well, the World of Warcraft trading card game, but more recently something like Lorcana, right? Um, and then here we have the actual main, main deck. The color choice on the back is real interesting. Like this kind of like olive color. Um, but I do like the do like the kind of uh, little pattern you have on there. All right, so ooh, we have um, some more foils too. Okay, all right, all right, all right. This is kind of just like a little a little basic basic unit. Um, and then we have her like this is the debut unit. So this is kind of like the the basic unit I think for uh, for this. If you're gonna kind of put it in terms of Pokemon. And it, it, it does follow that, you know, very well, right? You can kind of see how it's very Pokemon-like. You have, they do an ability, they do some sort of uh, stat damage, whether it's called damage or not. It does, you know, they, it does correspond to the opponent's health, right? So it's kind of basically damage. Um, and then they have, like, the the types right there, which will correspond, of course, to to these, these types. Um... But it's, it's a little bit different. Ooh. Oh, that's so nice, dude. It's, it's a little bit different than, than Pokemon. It's, it's very similar, but a little different. Oh my god, dude. This is, this is actually just... Hold on. This is actually just gorgeous. I didn't know we'd get, like... I assumed it would just be a lot of, like, non-foil... Non-foil cards, like a lot of starter decks. Yo, this is this is very nice. These, these are textured, by the way. See if we can... Like, you can kind of... It doesn't show the texture as much, but you can you can feel the, the texture. Very cool. Now, this one is a first, right? So you have your um, you have your debut, and then you go to first. It's like your first form, all right? Here's another debut. Very cute. Azki. More debuts. Little little cute cute little chibi. Oh, and she has a uh, this full version too for for this this debut. Three of that. Ooh, are we gonna get another? We're we gonna get more foils. Yo, we are getting more foils for the second. Yo, it looks so good. Yo, this is really, really nice. No, oh, I can't wait for this to be out in English. This is like actual, just 
quality, actual quality. Um, ooh, and here we have a dual, dual color card. In the demo, we didn't actually get to play with dual color cards, but they did say that they existed, which is cool. This is something that also exists in uh, in, in We Cross, right? You do have, occasionally, you have the dual color cards. It's not as common, but you do get them. Um, S pot. I don't remember what the, the S pots were. Are these are the starting ones. I don't remember exactly. And then these ones are basically like your your spells, right? These are your trainers, your spells, your effects. Um, or these like interns or something. It's got to be like an intern. Hold on, I, I just want to see what blank face lady here is. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna pull this up. All right, blank face lady, what are you? You are Manit Chan. Support staff. All right. Try to hold this up better for the for the camera. What about what about this one? Who are you? Early spring peacefulness. Yeah. Okay. Sure. So yeah. Anyway, these are kind of like your trainers, right? Um. Well, you know what? While we're at it, what does this one even do? Hold on. We can we can we can ex explore a little bit. What what does this one even do? So this one says. Yo, this card's cracked. <laughs> this is draw three cards from your deck. Bro, this one is cracked. This lets you draw three cards. All right, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. We got Ancestral Recall, and she's a cute, uh, she's a cute assistant waifu. Um, nice, we got this. Uh, I like how the cards are just in it. This is very Pokemon TCG, where like these like self-referential. Um, some sort of target practice. These are your fans, right? I mean, it looks like looks like your fans, and then ooh, the art in this is really good. I will say that, and the I really dig the art and the vibe of this game, just kind of in general. And man, the fact that you get so many of these these are like your your leaders, by the way. Uh, the fact that you get so many of these foils is super nice, right? You get you get these two, you get the 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 kind of suite of like these just kind of chrome foils, but you also get the two other textured foils as well, right? Yeah, this is uh, this is great. This is this is an awesome product, I mean, to be honest. And for the price point that I paid for it, especially with it being so difficult to get right now, I think it's just really, really good in general. And this is kind of what all TCGs should be aiming for, you know, um, around the $15 price point for just the entry product. Cheaper would be better, obviously, for a lot of folks. Um, but I think for the 15 to $20 price point, if you're getting just a, just a deck and no extra bells and whistles, I think that's a pretty good price, especially when it comes with all these like really beautiful, really, really beautiful foils. So yeah, that, this is kind of our first look at the Hololive trading card game. Like I said, this game does play like a mix between like Pokemon, but there's a couple other things too. Like when your units, um, die, all of your energy just doesn't go away. I think you get to put it somewhere else. So you don't, you're not out of that. So you don't have that sort of like you know, card disadvantage or tempo disadvantage from, from losing that kind of stuff. Also, these are in a separate deck. So once again, it's, you know, you don't have the disadvantage of having to draw into these. Um, and overall, I, I'm really looking forward to it. Please let me know in the comments down below what you think. If you have given this a shot yet, what you think. I'm really eager to play more. I would very much like to um, get the English version when it comes out. And like I said, I do plan on covering this game more when when that happens as well as um you know maybe doing some gameplay here this is one of the two games that i'm really really looking forward to the other one is the gundam game so yeah potentially some really cool stuff coming up in uh 2025 here so thank you so much for watching please like comment subscribe if you liked the video uh let me know down below what you think of the hololive trading card game and or rather the hololive official card game and uh yeah, if you're going to be interested in it as well. Interested in it as well. I can enunciate all of the of words. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you later.